Hello, this is Victor and this is the first video of a series where I will explain how I assembly, I assemble and how I paint the next miniatures. So this is a squad of five Hellions and then I will be doing short videos showing the steps and try to explain some of the basics. So I'm here I will talk a little bit about the assembly. As you can see here most of the aliens are partially assembled. I didn't glue them on this type of yeah, flying slider. Okay? And there are some bits that I have not glued yet to the to the miniature. So what I will do next will be the the priming on on on, on the different miniatures and also on the sliders and then I will prime this with brush so why that? so first these details I think it's going to be easier to be painted before assembly and as you can see I leave them attached partially to the sprue in the way that I can handle this while I'm painting and if it's too small I can also use a clamp if with one hand it's going to be difficult to, to show but I can use a clamp to help me on handling so you see here and then I can paint Okay. I'm doing that because it's easier to paint the head before assembly sometimes. In that case maybe it's not that difficult, but for example if you look the weapon in that that weapon will be go crossing the, the body. So this weapon will go crossing the body so it will be easier to paint before assembly, especially to paint the body. Then one thing is important is you have to keep also the arm that goes with that weapon and be sure that it's not mixed with other parts. So what I did is I I glued the, the legs in all of them, I glued the torso and then when the the arm is not in front of the body I also glued the arms, the arms in some of them. You see for example in that case it's not making it difficult and then I, I I stick them on a piece of cork using double side tape here it's clear so I use double side tape to keep them on the cork okay in that way I can handle them it's easy to manipulate and then I can leave them resting on the table so what I want to explain here summarizing assembly up to the point that is easier to paint but is also helping to you for example not having a weapon crossing on, on, on front of the torso because in that case this here like that is easier to paint and then the last I will paint also the the slider before gluing the 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 rider and then later on I, uh, once everything is painted I will start assembling so that's all and now next step will be to do to do some black prime and I will use aerosol to do for that so thanks a lot for watching this video and soon I will be back with the priming hello I'm here outdoors and now I'm going to explain how I do the priming. It's highly recommended to do this outdoors or with an area where you have very good ventilation because it's not very, it's not recommended to breath the, um, the solvent from, from the aerosol. Then you have to check it for, so you have to check it very well and then you just spray like this distance and normally 
I frame as you see on top of a box because I have best, better angle and, and I can spray easily. And if you see in the case of the sliders, I will only frame one side, I let it I will let it dry correctly and then I will once the prime is completely dry in that case, I will turn the the miniature and I will do the other side. In the case of the other miniatures, what I will do is I will do turns of 90 degrees, more or less. It's always better to do soft layers. That's all. 90 degrees more. I do another shot. You see the cork is not the most stable one. 90 degrees more. And that's all. So this is primed now. And then once these are dry, I will turn them upright and I will print the top, the top part of the sliders. I will not do video for that because it's, it's going to repeat. It's going to be to repeating exactly the same operation as here. Once you have end priming, I recommend you put the aerosol upside down like that, and then you spray. This is to empty completely the tube of the aerosol and also the the nozzle. So in case you don't use the aerosol for a long time. The, mm, there is no paint on the tube and there is no paint on the nozzle and the aerosol ca will not be blocked. If you leave paint then you have the risk if that the solvent is evaporating the, the paint will clog the nozzle. So that's all for that video. Thanks a lot for watching. Comment, like if you like it, subscribe if you want and see you again later. Bye!